What's happening, Hoodlum Gang? Welcome back to my channel. This your boy Hoodie from the Hood, aka your friend from that big old end. And I'm back at y'all once again. First of all, hit that like, hit that subscribe when you come up in here if you want to be a part of the Hoodlum Gang. Go on over and follow me on Instagram at Hoodie from the Hood. Um, real fast, uh, I appreciate everybody that tapped into the video yesterday that I did about cartoon. Uh, similar to the one that I did about dubs, man. Like I said, man, that's just, you know, me clowning around. Um, when you see me doing impersonations like that, those are YouTubers that I rock with. Um, Y'all been sending requests for me to do other people, and I will in the near future. It's a few people that, you know, I feel like I can do. Some might be a little harder than others, but to me, it got to come naturally. Um, I can't rush the process. Whenever I feel like doing it, I'll just do one and drop one on y'all randomly. But I do see some of the requests and I will try to get those out to y'all, uh, whenever, you know, um, shout out to cartoon, man. I sent it to him. He found the video hilarious, uh, as well as dubs. I sent it to him and you know, they, they, they was good sports about it, homie. So yeah, man, I appreciate y'all for um, keeping me motivated and inspire me to bring more content to the hoodlum gang because you know i watch these dudes channels and then they make me be like all right i'm making a video today um with that being said another person that i was just watching and uh the reaction he did made me want to speak on this and that's hater world um shout out to the hater world he um he did a reaction to Milk 7-4 on uh, Say Cheese, where I think the title was called, um, well, at least the Hater World's title. I don't know what the actual video was called because I, I didn't go look. But um, it's called Milk saying that he, he set the trend pretty much for um, Southern California, or no, not Southern California, for Los Angeles County or Los Angeles to pretty much start doing YouTube. Now, um, that could be true. It could not be true. Um, probably depend on who you ask. Obviously, if you ask Milk, that's how he felt about it. He felt like he set the trend. He felt like he was one of the first ones. Um, and a lot of people, it's starting to become more popular after Milk got on. Uh, Well, he got on Big Hurt, but once he started his channel, uh, I don't remember exactly when he started his channel. I feel like he started his channel like around 2019 or 20. Um, Y'all could correct me. Um, but like I said, it, it depends on who you would ask. He said people used to tell him when he first got on YouTube that he was pretty much corny and uh, he ain't from Hoover and people going create a channel to expose him and all this stuff now did they think that youtube was corny or did they just think overall he was corny you would have to ask whoever said that to him now if he could actually provide proof of actual people who have a youtube channel now saying that to him like if he could show you the screenshots like oh this nigga uh whoop de whoop said this to me back then and now he got a channel if he could provide that then he could say, yeah, I inspired these people. But if somebody told you they was going to start a YouTube channel just to expose you and then they never started a YouTube channel, then that's just somebody, you know, a troll popping hot air. You know what I mean? So I don't know. Uh, can I sit up here and definitively say that he hasn't inspired people? I don't know. I don't know. He, I, he got over 100,000 subscribers. I'm quite sure he inspired somebody. You know what I mean? But um, I think more so, at least me personally, I'm not from Los Angeles, so. But just being on the internet, Kev Mac been around a lot longer than that. Um, Street TV, yeah, of course, technically, Alex is from uh, New York or something like that. But he came to Los Angeles at like 12 and been living there since, and the man's like 50-something now. The niggas from L.A. to me. I get it. You're from New York, but you're from L.A. Um, they've been documenting 
stuff like that. Now, I know it's a different lane. They focus more on gangs and the history and stuff like that. So, you know, he's doing something a little bit different. He's doing reactions. He's on there popping and shit, doing whatever. But as far as YouTubers, they was doing this a lot longer. Um, if I'm not mistaken, uh, uh, Gil, American Cholo, been doing it since like, I don't know, 2017, 18 that I know of. Um, and he is from a hood. Um, Blue Devil said he'd been doing it for a while, even though I just got up on him recently. Um, who else? Bosco. They, they, they spoke on Bosco. Uh, even though Bosco is more of an Instagram person, people screen record his lives and they post, they upload the content on their channel. But the point is, he made people be want to be a internet um, person personality. You know what I mean? Way before Milk did. Um, and then there's other people that's in California. They might have not been in Los Angeles, but in California that had channels. Um, I don't know. M me personally, I've been wanted to um, start a channel. When I met Alex Alonzo in 2019, when he interviewed the big homies with J.O. and Ty Stick and Kurt Dog and all that, uh, me and him had the conversation in between recording and uh i had already told him hey man i want to do something like this you know what i mean this is prior to me even having a channel you can ask alex alonzo um it's just something that i already have wanted to do i said when i was on straight laced no chase with big mike shout out to big mike i had already said uh that initially i wanted to do a podcast but kev mac and and, and tack stone and uh, street TV, stuff like that inspired me to want to do YouTube and, um, cover the, 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 the history in, 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 the, um, the hoods and stuff like that of my city, because you don't have too much light being shined on my city. So even though it took me a while to start, uh, having these conversations with people and, you know, trying to get individuals to talk about they self and, and, and as far as the hood stuff um that's always been a priority when i created my channel um uh, but i was just procrastinating and wanting it to be fancy and wanting to get a certain type of camera and you know what i mean edit it and all that and i finally just said man fuck all that and i'm about to do it off the phone just like i'm doing these videos in the car man i'll pull up with the little with the little with the little light thing the little the little stand the light stand thing man we recording it on the phone man we got to get this shit up out there man i'm not doing too much more waiting but you know like i said he probably inspires some people um i have yet to hear any youtubers come out and say that um some might be hating some might be in denial or maybe he didn't but that's his opinion homie so i don't know y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments do y'all think milk inspired a lot of people or could he have just been ahead of the curve? He could have just seen YouTube and the internet going in a certain direction and did it before people, but that don't mean you necessarily inspired them. It's a lot of people who started rapping before other people, but that don't mean you was their influence just because you was rapping five years prior to this motherfucker. You might not be his influence. You might not be in his top five or his top 10. So I don't know, man. Y'all let me know. Do, do he got a point? Do he not got a point? Um... Yeah, show boy hoodie from the hood, aka your friend from that big O in. Um, man, got to slide back in here. Well, I'm at a whole different job now, but yeah. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all let me know if y'all want me to keep on doing them impersonations of other people, drop some. Um, and y'all let me know. Somebody hit me on Instagram and wanted me to get the history of a certain hood out here that's no longer active. But if I could find somebody from that hood, an older dude, cause there ain't no young dudes, um, I definitely would do it. But y'all let me know if y'all want if if y'all want me to do some more uh conversations with people and uh I'll try to get on it, man. Like I said, this hoodie hood, your friend from that big old end, I'm out.